Prosecutors say John Gibo was a member of a criminal operation called The Squad. And last June, that group set out to teach 35-year-old Hans Odige a lesson. As part of that, they were connected to the victim in this case, uh, and the victim uh, ended up angering some of those members, and as a result, he became a target for them. Uh, the goal was not to kill him, but essentially to injure him, and unfortunately, it went in a different direction, and the victim was killed. Odige was shot and killed in a parking lot off Spruce Street. 25-year-old Ashley Thompson was also hurt in the gunfire. Prosecutors say police executed a search warrant where they found a gun that matched casings found at the scene and had Gibo's DNA. Officials say Gibo was also tied to another shooting on West Street. Police say there were no injuries in this case, and surveillance video shows Gibo running away. My correct, sir, you're pleading guilty to all those charges as summarized by the state because you're guilty of them all? Yes, Your Honor. There's no question about your guilt, is there? No, Your Honor. Gibo made no apologies as he was sentenced for weapons and drug charges. Strelzen read a letter written to the court so by the mother of Odija's child. The man who took his life had no right. Hans was not perfect and maybe had not always made the right choices, but who does? Every defendant obviously has the option to resolve his or her charges if they, if they choose to, and in this case, uh, the defendant did step up and decide to take responsibility for his criminal acts and plead guilty. Jeff Strelzen said that he is pleased with the outcome and is glad that so many cases can be closed. In Manchester, Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.